Yeah, I mean, when you have, uh, it's a big game. It's late in the year, playing a team that's right with us in the standings. Obviously, the crowd was electric. So um, to get the crowd into the game right away, to get our guys into the game right away, just to start it on the right note, uh, that, that was very big. Um, I thought Davies was, was excellent throughout the game, uh, just very active, defended hard, was in the play offensively. Uh, was was good on the power play when we utilized him there. Just had a really aggressive attacking mindset to his game, and when he plays that way, he's a really special player. I thought Rusek, Beerzy, uh, Beer and Murray were excellent uh, today, and and uh, so was Weisbach. Um, and those four guys, you know, we've talked about that a lot this year, right? Even though they're young and they're just like 23, 24 year old guys, they're big drivers of our group, um, and. I think they've been doing a lot of good things still, um, but it hasn't always translated the score sheet. And tonight, all the hard, good things they did started to translate to the score sheet, which is good to see. I think we've seen with Cedarquist um, a real nasty physical side to him on the ice, um, and it's coming out more and more. Um, that's, you know, it's not just a, about fighting. Tonight it was a fight. It was great because uh, we had a great start. They pushed back a little bit. You know, that re-energized the bench, the crowd, all of it. So, um, you know, it, you just it's really important that you have pushback in your game uh, physically. It doesn't have to be fighting. Uh, but you can't back down. Uh, you can't show to other teams that that they can push you around. And uh, I thought that was a great moment for him, and I thought he handled it really well. What was the message coming out of the locker room in the third period to the guys to keep them going and not let the other team come back? Well, the, the second was so crazy, right, that, that uh, you, you certainly didn't feel safe at 6-4. Uh, Laval's a very good offensive team, uh, and it just felt like it was one of those games where, where it was he heading that direction. So the message was, let's stay aggressive, let's keep our foot on their throat, so to speak, um, and let's make sure when it's time to defend, we defend. What I liked about the third is that we stayed on the attack without playing stupid. Sometimes we're, we're, we're young a little bit at times, and, and sometimes you're staying on attack aggressively. Uh, you turn pucks over and they get transitioned the other way. Tonight we did a better job of staying aggressive in the third without giving up as much the other direction. Season high in goals. It's one of those where are you happy? You're obviously happy with the speed you showed off going into the offensive zone, but maybe not so happy with how you dealt with their speed coming back. That's a pretty good way to analyze it. Um, I thought that we, you know, they're a heavy shot volume team, and I think they were in the mid-20s only tonight. So I actually think that we handled it pretty good collectively overall when you look at the whole game. They're a team that probably averages close to 40 shots a game, and tonight they're in the mid-20s. So that was good. Uh, then, But how we – the goals, I thought were, you know, a couple that we should have had cleaned up. Um, you know, we know they like to whip pucks into the front of the net area and – yet they still got two goals there and yet they still got other chances there that should be at the save. So those are areas that we have to get better at against this team. Obviously we'll have them two more times next week. Since mid January, he's gotten on the score sheet, goal wise anyway. Uh, he's dropped down the chart a little bit. Can this provide a little jump start? Yeah, I, I, I think it is. Um, I, I still think he's, he's doing good things. You know, I don't look at the lines as a first line, a fourth line. We're trying to put lines together. We need to be a four line team. Um, and we need to be four lines that can just roll in waves and try to steamroll our opponents. Um, you know, if you have a guy that's like a hundred point score in the American League, you might not need to be a four line team. We play better when we're rolling four lines. So the lines we came up with here um, this week were, was, was a little bit towards the end of Sunday's game. Um, and it just felt like the lines meshed really well. They had synergy. They moved the puck well. I thought we played uh, – that's probably the fastest we've played. Um, and, not, and I don't mean just speed. I mean with our minds and how we move the puck. Uh, that's probably the fastest we've played in a month or so, which was good to see. Very aggressive. 
in from the start. Um, do you feel your players are energized and ready to go tomorrow again? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's going to be a, a new test, right? This was a good win. Tomorrow's a new test. Um, you know, we have a long bus ride and, and one of the better teams in the American Hockey League in Springfield. So um, we'll be ready and we'll, we'll find the energy, but it's also, you know, it's going to take, take a strong effort. We're going to need to be very, very good defensively um, and, and manage, kind of manage that game uh, on the road and give ourselves a great chance in the third period to pull, pull out a victory. Is it starting to feel like we can score two goals every game? I'd like him to. Yes. Um, you know, uh, you know. I think that he and Rosine. Uh, you know, we've been talking a lot about it. Just how they keep growing, uh, how hard they work, how much time they put into their craft, uh, and Kulik is. You, you know, I, I challenged all of the the rookie forwards. Uh, they're not rookies anymore. You know, they're forty five, fifty games in. Um, and, and they're not played as rookies. They're, they're, they're on special teams and they're on the, you know, they're playing big minutes and, you know, Cedarquist and Kozak are big penalty killers. And so, you know, you don't want them, you want them to start to assert themselves, uh, on the game and, and attack the game and, and be leaders in their own way, leaders in their, in the, the style they play. And I, and I think we're starting to see that more and more from those guys. I mean, his, his shot is, is special, right? So. Uh, those are real goal scorers, goals that he scored today. Sort of took a step back in January a little bit, a bit of a mental letdown after World Juniors potentially, but now February has been on fire. Yeah, I, I actually think his game in January was very good. It just wasn't always on the score sheet. Um, and I think what we're seeing now in February is the product of the work he was putting in in January, right? His defensive habits are better. Um, same with Rosian. Uh, they're competing harder. They're hunting pucks more. They're winning more puck battles. And so then because of that, they have the puck more. Um, earlier in the season, they, they probably were playing defense majority of their shifts because they weren't able to do those things at a sustained level. So the better they do those things, the more they have the puck. And then the more they have the puck, the more they get to show their, their offensive talents, which they're, they have in abundance.